Alrighty, welcome back to more shambles of a dishonored nature. <laughs> this is uh, tricky. Tricky to say the least. Right. Now, let's have a wee peek at what we've got going on here. Two or three guards. Okay. Definitely patrolling. I'm wondering at what point they go away. Now, it would be lovely to actually be able to sneak attack one of these guys. Wouldn't it just? <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? Right, there's one there, one there. I wonder where in here his abominations are. That's just the way back out again. These guys don't seem to be moving very far. Yeah, doing this... Doing this is going to be hard. Why am I ducking down over here? Is it, oh, I'm under the table. Very nice. Alright, that makes sense. That makes sense. Now, dropping one of these guys asleep will definitely alert the others. The third guard. So we've only got these two to deal with here. You and you. Oh, no, you didn't. No, 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 don't be silly. Nothing to be alerted by. Not God, over here. Nice. Mm, he seems suspicious. He's no longer suspicious. Good stuff. Hey, shut up. Right, the next to each other. If I open... No, no, oh, gold. <laughs> if we open the doors, is that going to do anything yeah, terrible? Nice. No, nope, never noticed that. That's good. That is good. Is one of them going to come in here because of that? <coughs> Hopefully not. All right, you're. No, 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 no. Outsider's eyes. I'm getting spooked. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. I reckon we might be able to double dart these guys if we can get them at the two ends of the room. <coughs> now you're looking away. So maybe we can dart you. And possibly. If we're really lucky. Yes. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right, let's carry him out. Dump you out here. And there's the other guard as well. Just in case someone comes around. That'll do. Awesome. Alright, good. Good, good, good. So there's a guard going to be through there. We know that much. From his potterings around. Oh, cripes. Open door. There is he. There he is. Alright, we can take him out easy enough. Uh huh. Once you move away, nice little stretch, sir. Gotcha. That's good. That's good. Right. Let's shift you over and out of the way as well. I wonder how long these guys stay asleep for. Custom food remedies, teacups, and things. Anybody else that we can see around here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, nice. Yoink. Nice bit of blood sausage. Empty bottles. Lots of rats in there. We'll novel that. This looks... Huh. Doesn't look like a nice place. Feeding log. Assorted human remains. One bag of Tyvian or Tivian pears. Rats uninterested. One tin of potted whale meat is eaten. Human torso, no trouble finding corpse parts. No feeding, aggression increased, incident of cannibalism. Incident with previous maidservant. Will withhold feeding until first day, month of darkness. Hmm. Are they training rats? Seems to be the way. I don't really want to release them out of there. They're probably starving. Although saying that, we could bring a corpse over. <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe. We'll have a look at that in a little while. Yeah, I'm not interested in the distillery district. What I want is... Uh, oh, nearly missed it. 
Yeah, you snore it out, man. Customs and food of Morley. Dag nabbit game, come on. Press the right buttons. Right, expert from a traveller's journal. Fair enough. Born and raised in Gristol, I spent my formative years in the smallest cities before settling in a magnificent Dunwall. Uh, there in the capital city, I learned to appreciate the finer things. When the opportunity arose to document my travels to Circonus, Tivia, and finally Morley, I left my position as a clerk for the late Lord Estermont. Perhaps, like so many in Dunwall, I suffer from being excessively cultured, but I found Morley disappointing. Over the course of this journal, I explained why I found these festival, why I found the festival of Cherners to be tiresome, despite the high banners, bare feet, and red robes, and why their renowned jellied ox tongue is something I will be struggling to forget for many years to come. Ew. Not cool. So the question is, where is this poison in here? And I'm hoping it's not in that room. If we um, keyhole this, isn't this the room of? That's not the room of rats. Interesting. All right. Do we have anything in there? Oh, it's next to the room of rats. I see. Okay, fair enough. Uh, empty bottles. We're not worried about. It's not like we can distract um, the rats. <laughs> As it were, maybe we can. Got some bread. That may well come in handy. Now, where does he keep this vile poison elixir of his? More rats. Doesn't seem like there's much in here, which is good. Nope, open the door, please. Thank you. White rat's good, brown rat's bad, black rat's evil. We've come all this way, I definitely want to, uh... Ooh, the third strictive. I definitely want to get this thing sorted so we can poison the bottle boys. Uh, the bottle street gang, what's it? Man, tons of other bits. A couple of bolts is handy. There's a locker. Bullets, lovely. That's grand. <clears throat> That's grand. Avoiding the rat plague. Dudes. Uh, let's do it. Um, except from a government protocol on disease practices, much of the public still harbors false beliefs related to the plague. It is not true that the bile from river crusts will protect against contra contraction of the disease. Wow, what a stumbling word. Uh, nor is it true that the crust Morley orchids act as a remedy, though it is speculated that both of these ingredients are used in both Sokolov's Ecclesia and Piero's remedy. Consumption of these products before exposure to the plague constitutes... The only known means of resisting the disease. Oh, fair enough. Further, the Abbey of Everyman warns against superstitious practices. Not is it not only is it ineffective to burn two hagfish and a cat together, inhaling the vapours while chanting the names of the plague dead, but it is also considered heresy by the overseers and will be met with full measures of the Abbey's laws. Tell your neighbours and practice these things yourself. Avoid contact with the infected. Consume your ration of elixir daily, preferably in the morning, and report anyone suspectful of carrying the plague. Okay. Uh, everyone must work together to stop the spread of the dreaded contagion. Indeed. Agreed. I guess. Excerpt from a work detailing one of the seven strictures. Restrict the restless hands, which quickly becomes the workmates of the outsider. Unfettered by honest labour, they rush to sordid gain, vain pursuits and deeds of violence. Of what value are the hands that steal and kill and destroy? Instead, put your hands to the plough, the fork and the spade, for even the lowliest labour that is rigorous squeezes the muscles as a sponge, rinsing impurities from the mind and body. Whatevs. <laughs> Ooh. Ashtrays, nothing more. Okay. I think it's time we venture upstairs. Actually see what this manor is about. I sincerely hope that these guys stay asleep for the whole time they're down there. Um, rat viscera, there it is. Interesting. Wait, that's nonsense. Can't we just... No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. Iyer's new elixir is twice as good against the plague. 
I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. Nice. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? Uh. It is, isn't it? I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. All right, what's this guy doing? Ooh. I have no idea how far these dudes can see. That's the problem. All right, the maid's gone off to the right. All right, cool. Where did matey boy go? He's headed up all the way upstairs. Grand. That's pretty perfect. She seems to be a fair trick away as well. It looks like uh, the rat viscera would have to be upstairs, wouldn't it? Amazing. Travel to Pandissa. What will I do now? I think if you're not careful, love, I might have to um I might have to knock you out. I told her to keep the children inside. I told her. Ooh. Can I? <laughs> All right, took the building key. That's good. We'll leave her what? be. Ooh. Oh, no. Help me. no, 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 no. I need help. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm such a bad thief. Is Matey coming down? Doesn't look like it. She's been alerted. Which is no good. Hopefully, she won't... Uh, Anything too silly. Alright, we've got a nice, nice little hidey hole here. Oh, it'd be lovely to have like rat powers. Ooh. Thank you. Hopefully, she didn't. She stopped freaking out. I stole the key from her though, that's handy. She doesn't seem to be around. Alright, thankfully, her husband didn't hear her. Or her husband to be, anyhow. Okay, she's not around. Grand. Just got the dude upstairs to deal with and a book to read. Where did she go? Not too happy about that. What have we got in here? Not like there's much. Let's keyhole this quickly. So mostly an empty room, okay. Oh, she's over there cowering, fair enough. We'll leave her to it, as long as you don't come and pester us anymore, love. We'll be alright. Or will we? I don't know. I don't want to kill her. I don't really want to shoot her. If I can knock her out, that would be handy. Uh, not knock her out, but you know. Just disable her calmly and quietly without any issue. Yep. Sorry, love. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just shh. <laughs> shh. There, there. Silently does it. Don't worry. You're safe now. I'm so creepy sometimes. It's horrific. <laughs> no need to worry. Yeah, we don't want to go outside just yet. I think that'll be the upper story one. How do these combination locks work? Well, I know how combination locks work. I wonder if we're going to get a clue as to... Uh, what the doohickey is. How do we open this? Hmm. That's interesting. Is there no way of opening this? I don't want to break it. No, no, no. I'm not going to smash glass for that. Not just yet. I wonder if we're going to get a clue as to what the combination is. Oh, pistols. Lovely. Oh, you can't carry more ammo with this type. Fair enough. Okay. I guess we're taking a little peek upstairs then. Alright, that'd be nice. Help. See what direction he's uh, going to be going in. Uh, don't look this way. What are you up to, fella? Gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Awesome. Lovely. Grab him, take his keys. Doesn't look like there's anybody else up here. Just gonna drop you off down here, buddy. 
quickly have a peek through here. Now we do have the keys, which is good. Unlock that. Lovely. Ah, oh, very handy taking uh, taking that key from the maid. Actually, you know what? Just in case. Just in case. Just want to drop you in here, my friend. Grab that, because I saw it on the way past. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. Going a little bit better. Better than out in the streets last time, anyhow. <laughs> right. Key holder. What do we have? A bathroom. Probably, mm, maybe not a bathroom. Maybe, maybe some sort of experimental laboratory. With a bath in it. Okay. That's grand. Alright, the rat viscera is miles away. Still got further to go. Okay. Alrighty. Nothing too bad around here. Ah, the laboratory. Now, this looks like somewhere that matey nice. may be, but I don't see him. Doesn't appear to be immediately in the vicinity. Good stuff. Good stuff. Tons of cool things in here. Whoa, loads of toys. Uh, processed oil whale. <laughs> oil whale? Whale oil. Empty bottles. It's just knowing what we're looking for. Oh, look at that. Whales with tentacles. That's nutty. Hmm. Bull rat fetus. Do I want that? Hmm. No. That's pretty nasty. Although I'm sure we could probably do something with that in the rat room down below. Interesting. That's the way back to, yep, the main stairs. That's cool. What the heck is that? Ooh. Okay. Rivercross. There's uh, some bad looking stuff. Now, I don't need any kind of food. We've done fairly well ninjuring our way in at the moment. Around. Now, the rat viscera is around the corner by the looks. Lab coat. Where's the scientist who lives in here? The rat plague. Hmm. Excerpt from a natural philosopher's notes. For over a year, I've studied this cursed plague, collecting and dissecting rats by the thousands. Given their rapid gestation and maturity in, uh, maturation cycle, it's been possible to breed them for numerous generations. The rodents themselves seem immune to the plague, but they pass it readily between members of their own species, perhaps through mites. Okay. The blood of the rats tells its own story, allowing me to gauge the number of generations that a given group of rats have lived with the plague. As such, a nagging question remains. The rats collected in the poorest parts of town in the slums exhibit the oldest strains of the plague, while those found near the docks, where the foreign plague-bearing rats would presumably have entered the city, exhibit a younger strain of plague. Hmm, plague. Could this mean that the rats were transported to the slums in some way that is not obvious? I will continue my research. If nothing else, I am living proof that Sokolov's elixir and Piero's remedy are very effective at protecting against the plague if one consumes enough of the stuff. Mm-hmm. Seems like it was all a big setup. Okay, we've got the lab key. Dare we use the audio player is the question. Hang on, the rat viscera is over here. But the... But the what now? How do we get back there? This must be like... Aha! <laughs> Interesting. That's cool. Dr. Galvani's secret room. Oh yeah. Yoink. That's nasty. Search for a sample of the infested rat viscera. Check. Gives us some money as well. Contaminate the Bottle Street Gam's bootly elixir with the plague. Yes, we shall do that. They seem like a nasty bunch of people. Sewer capacity in the month of nets. Excited interview attached to a former report by CityWorks Crew 17A. I've been asked to tell you the problem, so here it is. It's been every year uh, that we work like men gone mad during the month of nets. I don't hardly see my family. It's bad enough that the works is clogged with trash from the catch, pieces of crates and nets, but the water smells of hagfish guts too. We've got to get it done before the month of rain. Or you know what. Uh, and it ain't like we got help from these pricks in civil engineering either. Been at this job for nigh on 28 years and i never seen one of them from uh, come below. Except to measure will it uh, hold when they go putting up one of their fancy new bridges. 
So these last three years have been worse than his why. It's the river crusks. Moved into the works. works. We hear a man ahead yell and scream like he's burning up and we all climb up fast and no other choice. Alright, so there's beasties in the sewers. Fair enough. Is that going to close? Yeah, okay. We'll close that and leave. Don't need to leave any incriminating evidence. We have what we came for. But while we are here, more monies would be grand. What's this place? Alright, looks like his bedroom. Nope. Just <laughs> guessing every time, but I'm wrong every single time. Bathroom, nope. Bedroom, nope. Um, ew. Toilet. No one stashes anything in the bog. That's handy. Yeah, let's leave that as is. The Leviathan Sorrow. Alright, not too bad. Except from a report on the treaties banned by the Rudsham Trade Council. Little known is Picotti, credited with his series of pamphlets arguing against the whaling trade. While he has gifted his views and nonsense and threatened the economic underpinnings of the Empire... 01 Enslavement. On the breeding and husbanding of whales versus hunting the beasts in the wild after a natural and free life cycle. Because he offers no solutions for where these massive malevolent creatures might be pastured. Number 2 Disillusion. Laments on the destruction of social bonds between herd members because he actually uses the term families. Number 3 Harmony. Drivel on the aesthetic wonder of what is in reality the great and terrible ocean that ever threatens to swallow us. Includes arguments on the gentler nature or the gentle nature of the brutes, a notion refuted by seamen who uh, return to shore wide-eyed with tales of the whale's savagery. Number four, disruption. Here, Picotti is in his weakest footing, issuing a feverish warnings against the displacement or transference of natural beasts from their native environments. So, someone's trying to... Mm, yeah, well, it makes sense. You're just going to um, hunt these guys into ex uh, extinction if you're not careful. Does make sense. Rat Plague. What else was there? Just more empty bottles. I think... I think we're good. I do believe we can leave. Now the question is... Where will this take us? I think this is second, third story up. Those doors. Yes, perfect. Oh, that's good. That is good. Right, so let's hold a square and the Dunwall Whiskey Distillery is down there. Fantastic. Oh, this is good. This is good. Right, we can't spot the guards from up here. Can we... Can we do anything about getting across here, though? That's the question. Just have the one guard down there pottering around. I swear there was another one around here, unless we killed him <laughs> by accident. That's cool. That's a nice way down. Uh, odds are we probably can't get back up there again. No biggie. Oh, this looks good. What do we have? King Sparrow Feathers. Oh, money. Money, money, money. Always useful. Okay, we've got some dude down there. I wonder if he'll spot me skulking around up here. Hopefully not. Hiding behind a sign, that's good. Oh, blimey. It's taken us forever to get this side quest done, but... Um, yeah... I think poisoning these guys' elixir supply will be quite good. I think. I don't know why. Just seems like the right thing to do. Alright, fantastic. We're on our way. At last. So. How can we get across here? That looks good. Lovely. Can we pop all the way over there? Yes, we can. Right, do we have anybody in the hoose? Okay, we've got one guy down below somewhere. That seems to be a bad... Ah, we forgot to, um... Listen to the phonograph thing. Nuts. Still, lots of good, uh... Lots of good loot here. Oh, hell yeah. Money, money, money. And food. Always useful. Alright, so I'm betting this is all probably on one floor, isn't it? Yes, convenient. Okay, so we're going to have to find another way downstairs. Typical. Okay. Lovely. I'm loving this teleportation power. It's bloody useful. So, one door in. That's the way there. Alright. 
Looking pretty healthy. Good. Anybody behind here? Doesn't look like it. Yes, go into the Dunwall Distillery. It's not going to be a simple job, is it? Uh -huh. Just the one guy entering hostile zone. Very nice, I'm sure. So just one dude. Oh no, there's, there's loads of dudes. How do we... Hmm, how do we see him but not the others? That's interesting. That looks like an interesting way up. There's definitely something up there worth checking out. Fantastic. Oh, too good, too good. Medicinal herbs. Well, need that we don't need right now. An explosive bottle. Yes, siree. There's a lot of guys in here. A lot, a lot of guys. <clears throat> Excuse my throat. I'm wondering how far we can get without being clocked. Let's cancel that. We should just be able to climb up here. Yep. Right, there's our way in. You got luck. When you're this handsome, you don't need luck. Face like a hagfish. Pay up. <laughs> don't be sour. Say, when's Slackjaw coming down? Not till the next batch of elixir's done. You'll want to check on things. Then you better get all your shit together, huh? Everything's fine. I run the still like I run a game of Nancy. Yeah. <laughs> Fair Not coffee. Fast and good. There's a lot, a lot of dudes. We're never going to be able to survive against Rats. all of these. Ooh, speaking of... Um, what's the quick save button in this? I do forget. Um, options, controls, yada 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 yada. Keyboard mouse settings, gamepad settings. Quick save is F5. Lovely. Let's do that. No notification of whether or not that did anything. F5. Oh, one can but hope that worked. Holy moly. If we could sneak past these guys without alerting them, that would be fantastic. You guys are nasty. Every single one of you is a horrible example of humankind. Hmm. If we jump kill that guy, but there's not much need. He's taking a pee, that's lovely. Go in. All right, injured. Love it. Rats, but no people. Hopefully, they haven't put any peeps on guard in here. Yep, yep. That's a lie. That's a lie. There's plenty in here. Anyway, we can go up. No. Mystery master key needed, of course. That's going to be on one of the guys outside, or possibly this dude in here. Nice. Blimey, okay, there's a few of them. Oh, there's like four guys in here easily. Oh, Jiminy's. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's come to that time, I think. Just about the end of this episode. So, join me next time, and let's see how we infiltrate this distillery. There's a key. Alright, good to know. I'll catch you then. Cheers.